Good afternoon, everyone. So I know pretty much that you go, all are waiting for the lunch. So it's going to be a very short talk. OK, so let me start with this question that I normally get in many of my consulting assignments. OK, we are thinking of using Agile. It should be used Lean instead. So if you have all been into consulting, okay, let me ask you first. So I think pretty much familiarization with Agile you, you all are, right? Agile? Anybody new to Agile, totally new to Agile here? Nobody. How about Lean? Are you familiar with Lean principles? What Lean is? Yes. Okay, yes or no? Yes. Yes? yes? And rest all are not? What about this? Okay. So this is what we are going to see. We, it's going to be a very foundation level stuff that we are going to talk and it's going to be really beneficial for you. And of course, we would like insight from you who are already experienced in Lean. So yes, we get this question, lean or agile? Should we go with lean or agile? And many a times, I believe that this question is based on false premise, you know, sometimes. Because those who are making this question, they are not aware, aware of the foundation principles behind it. Right? And then these guys are not aware. We don't know what language to talk, right? Uh, we cannot make assumptions that you guys or, or my client or customers, they are aware of Agile and Lean and accordingly we provide a solution because so, since these are two different stuff, these two different names, there got to be some differences between them. Right? And that, that is what we are going to explore in the next few minutes. First thing that we must ask ourselves is, are we really comparing apples to apples or apples to oranges, right? How, how same are they or how different these are. Unless we, uh, we are sure about this, there is no point in suggesting a solution to the customer. Right? With the way you have heard Mark Lines, you have heard uh, many other dignitaries in the last couple of days. The world, agile world is moving up. It's moving towards agility. For the enterprise agility is the next step. So certainly we have to be very clear at the foundation level. Okay? Can we just scale agile up or is it is lean the thing, you know, of the future and all that stuff. We'll go back to a little history here and we'll see how these two got originated. So I am assuming that you all are aware of this. Fem looks familiar? Yeah. Yes, what is this? Manifesto. The manifesto for Agile Software Development. I know pretty much if all of you would be remembering everything uh, in the manifesto that is. It has certain values, four of these people over processes, customer collaboration, working software, and responding to change. These are the primary values of Agile. Lean, lean, any idea when lean started? Some thoughts, when? 70s, 70s? Yeah, 80s. 70s, 80s? Yeah. Yes? yes? OK. So lean fundamentally refers to the Toyota manufacturing system in Japan, originated in Japan, came way back in 1950s. That's when Japan was totally ravaged after the World War II and they were rebuilding their nation. And Taichi Ohno is the name of the gentleman who came up with Toyota production system. It became very popular pretty late. You know, earlier it was picking up, Japan was rebuilt and only it was very late in the cycle, you know, late 80s, 90s, it's when the Westerners started looking at Toyota production system. You know, Toyota production system was nothing but based on the Deming's principle. Basic principles of Deming, you might want to refer it. 14 principles is Deming what has suggested. It's also the PDCA cycle, right? Uh, the guru of quality, quality system. So it, it's really based on those 14 principles. There's nothing great about it, or nothing new about it that we should all, you know, be overwhelmed. It's more about the implementation of these principles, right? Uh, then later in the 90s, it's when the term lean was coined. You know, earlier it was Toyota production system, TPS by Taichi Ono, the godfather of lean. But the lean, the term lean was really coined much later. This book, The Machine That Changed the World, is more like the Bible. Bible for production companies, for, you know, operations management and all that. They use the term lean. It was more to give a structure to the Japan, let's say, management system or Toyota production system. But then it was very structured, which means if you are a new organization and you want to implement lean, 
out of nowhere. You can very well have a you know a kind of good starter, and you can think about becoming a. So this is about it. But still, if you see, we are still talking about manufacturing production. But this confidence is about agile, and agile is more close to software than anything else. Of course, it can be applied to other areas also, but more close to software. Uh, in the again in the mid 90s or early 90s, the similarities between the lean principles and the agile software development practices they started coming up. Uh, these gentlemen, knowingly or unknowingly, there was a very clear mention of uh, relation between the build process, the daily build processes that you have in agile. You know, Microsoft, one of the pioneers of agile uh, practices. So when you have a daily build and it breaks, what do you do? What the developers do typically? Any thoughts? If you have a daily build running and today you have a build failure, what happens with the team? What the developers do? Try to see the reason why it's failed and try to fix it. Yeah. So they are working on something, they stop everything. Yeah. Once the line breaks, they first have to do the fixing of that and then get the build finished. Whether they are going to consume the build or not is not a problem. Similarly, in just in time production, you have an assembly line in you know manufacturing and it goes and on. If there is a defect identified, they did the similar thing. Okay, this is just one of the examples. The similarities between these two started coming up. But still, lean term was not used synonymously with software development. Still, we were talking about theories, principles, Toyota, implementing. In fact, in India, out of the support com uh, services company, Wipro has been a pioneer. Before Agile, they implemented lean. So that is another thought. But then, still, lean was not synonymous to software development. It's only later, uh, the works of Mary and Tom Poppendi. Anybody heard of the Mary Poppendi or Tom Poppendi? These, these, their husband and wife, uh, one is from production and one was a software developer. Together they came up with this first book, which coined this phrase as Lean Software Development. So you see the journey of Lean quite interesting, from pure manufacturing to just having similarities and actually a lean software development. Now today, if uh, any of us are not aware of, uh, I mean, aware of nothing about lean production, we can still go look at these, you know, uh, work uh, and start implementing lean in our software context, right? So this was about the history of lean. Now, why I included this part is I see it as a challenge. Many a times, it's just people. Uh, have this uh, you know challenge correlating how it could be possible if I go and tell somebody you know what lean is lean is a manufacturing principle they say oh come on how can we apply it in software so the change has not been overnight if you see from Toyota production system to being called lean organization then start slowly relationship between the principles and then actually a dedicated focused area called lean software development agile manifesto came somewhere here in 2001, you know, right, 2001. And this book is when Lean Software Development was published a couple of years later. Now, now having seen the origin, let's see how this, their fundamentals compare. So for the uh, scope of the talk, Agile is Agile Software Development and Lean is now Lean Software Development. This is what we are going to focus on. So of course, Agile has a set of principles. Okay, can, can somebody quickly tell a couple of principles now? Uh, Mohit also, Rohit also spoke about a few. What is that? Agile principles. How many are there? Twelve. 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 I know. Those of you have cleared these exams also, they have to remember all this by the you know, their fingers. So, quickly. Customer satisfaction. Okay. First priority. I'll not read through all of this because now you're going to do some little exercise, some thoughts about the company. Uh, somebody wants me to go through these, the 12 principles of Agile, or are we okay? Okay. Now, yes, lean principles. Now, there, there are seven lean principles which are there uh, as per the many propendic books. So, or now you pick up any reference book on lean software development, you will find pretty much the standardized seven principles of lean. I will read through one more. The first one is eliminate waste from the system. Okay. Uh, for this, yes, there is a lot you need to do first identifying waste and then. Trying to find out ways to eliminate waste. Who attended uh, uh, yesterday's session on lean tools? Lean tools at work, anybody? Yeah. Yeah, so she spoke about one of the tools, value stream mapping, and how you can view the entire system using value stream, and then eliminate the processes which are 
not adding value. So this is waste elimination. Waste is categorized or defined as anything which customer would not be willing to pay. Which not, which just doesn't add value to the final product there or the service that we are, you know, out to create. Eliminate waste. Amplify learning. Just now we heard those who were there in the previous session. Learning is the key. You have to keep creating knowledge. Okay. Even you know, be it writing Java code or talking to the customer or writing email, anything. So amplify learning. We have to continuously put focus on learning. Defer commitment. This is something interesting, and many people, you know, I have a hard time convincing them. Ki how can you defer commitment? Does it look like a good ideal principle? Okay, so what does this really mean is you don't commit till you know sufficiently about the stuff. Correct. So if somebody asks me to jump, I would rather come closer and see how much is the, you know, how deep it is rather than just committing yes. So that is what it says. You don't commit too early. And progressive elaboration, you call it in, uh, in classic project management terms. But the idea is get sufficient idea before you commit to something. Deliver as fast as possible. I don't want to say that has been uh, any ma uh, Japan manufacturing which has presence in a Honda, Toyota. You go to them, you know, uh, you know how, how I mean, uh, they don't have inventory, right? They from manufacturing they directly ship it, right? So this is what this is how fast they are in delivery. Respect people. Agile also says the same thing. Respect people. People. Why respect people so much? Why can't we just have, you know, them do the work they are supposed to do? So they are motivated. They have to keep them motivated. It's them who create all the work, all the, you know, uh, products that they, uh, that they are out to. Build quality in. Uh, mistake proofing, I think, was another tool that uh, she spoke about yesterday. So build quality in is such that you don't have to fix defects later on. Have your processes such that you are automatically building quality. Have you heard Mark Lines yesterday morning? Okay, she spoke, he spoke about non-solo programming. Fair programming, some people call it a non-solo programming. What is the purpose? Immediate review feedback and you don't have to have, you know, defect fixing cycle later on. And see the whole. Now, I'll park this part. It's, it's basically systems thinking in short. Now, a quick couple of minutes if you can spend uh, in your table or just with yourself. And I need an answer at the end of two minutes. Do you find similarity between the agile principles? Or do you find any difference? I I would really love to get at least a couple of differences also because since these two are not same, there has to be some difference, right? Yeah. yeah so just a couple of minutes. I want you to take. There are some people who are probably new to lean principles, but yeah, I'll come back to each table and one point on the table. Focus 
focusing on eliminating waste. Okay, now I, I want an answer from one of you. So, Ankit is saying that Agile doesn't focus on eliminating waste. Yes. What's your name? David. David, please. Uh, by giving demo, I have been doing support with Agile in between organizations. Yes, face to face conversation. Why? Eliminating the waste is also related to the working software concept. Yes, but you have shorter cycle because you don't accumulate the waste. You eliminate, you do just the necessary work. Right, the real principle says simplicity. Simplicity, what is that? Art of maximizing the amount of work not done. So now, this is the principle level we are talking, that we have to understand. How you implement it, which practice you use is up to you. Correct? I am talking here the principle. So agile principle clearly says, keep it simple, silly. Right? Don't do anything which is not needed. Like Microsoft, uh, Bill Gates once, I mean, I'm not sure how true it is, but I've heard he said, he gives the most complicated task to the most lazy employee. Why? Because he will find the smartest way to do it. No, not smartest, easiest. easiest. Simplest, yeah. easiest. Yeah. Just the bare minimum needed, right? Yeah, so these are the thoughts which really make people different and that's make their different. So you got my point. Again, there is no theory behind, you know, one-on-one -on -one relationship. I have tried to map a couple of slides. I'll show you. I've tried to map a few, a few of these, but see. I want a difference, guys. Otherwise, I'll, I'll get it. But it's getting interesting. I, I, can, I joined a little late, but with the lean, what I understood, well, can you change? I couldn't see mapping it somewhere in the lean. Which different can you Welcome change. Welcome change? Welcome change, refer commitment. Oh, I see that. So since we are not committed to stuff tomorrow, if there is a change, we can take it up. Right? Yes, sir. To see the whole, I'm not able to see a direct mapping. Yeah. What about self organization? Respect people. Empower people. Respect people. Right? So this is really interesting. I know, whatever. It is a, it, I thought it's a very basic topic, but when I thought about it, when I started doing research, really I dug into each of the principles. And I found it pretty. If you go depth and depth further deep into these, you find some relation. And the most interesting part, and if you get time, please do it. Just download the 14 principles of Deming. Deming, have you heard? Deming, 14 principles, PDCA, okay. And then compare both of these with Deming. You will now see, okay, forget Agile, forget you. Then Deming came first. Came first. That is the beauty. So, and all these are talk, talking very basic human, you know, kind of principles. Respect people, you know, keep it simple. Are they really too difficult or rocket, rocket science stuff? No, right? Now, coming back to, uh, what's your name, sir? Just be Just be seeing's uh, point. See the whole. So, I'll just park it for a for a second and because uh, there is definitely going to be some discussion on it. But if you see now, if you see correlation, there is certainly correlation between various. Quickly, if you see, they are mapped. Okay, my mapping might not be correct and you might have a different opinion and feel free to have that. So, agile principles map pretty clearly with at least one principle of lean. Okay, I'll say it again. All agile principles or each of the agile principles map to at least one principle of lean. Here to here, it's very clearly the case, right? Uh, technical excellence, Bill Politan. It's more about, you know, yeah? Yeah, yeah. So there is nothing which I could find here on the left side of the screen which doesn't map to any of the boxes on the right side of the screen. But the other way around, as sir already caught, there is no relation between one principle. So, at least both paradigms, both development paradigms are based on the similar set of principles, right? But as I lean says, I am more unique. I am, you know, a little more different. A little different from what a child is. And which is what? See the whole principle. What is this principle, see the whole, if you can elaborate on it? Basically, now, uh, as per my understanding, it's talks that you shouldn't be concerned about just your part of the work, right? You should yes. see a bigger picture. Exactly. And is it a difference in a child? Agile, what it says, self-organized team, I'll keep your seven guys separate, okay, for the iteration, nobody disturbs them. Of course, nowadays practical implementation is not like this, but core Agile says that, okay, separate them, you watch any Jeff Sutherland's video, they'll say, during the sprint, no disturbance, absolutely no disturbance, right, but that means you are keeping, basically you keep that unit away from the other dependent during the time period. Lean always says see the whole, see the entirety, see it completely. 
So uh, you can't see this. Both paradigms are built on almost the same set of principles. So uh, I don't yeah. see the whole Concept to cash, yeah. end to end, all. If it's just IT or business or even multiple IT teams coming together, mm -hmm. you optimize. So who was there in the uh, lean pizza shop workshop yesterday? Okay, reduction of siding. Yeah. That was the whole idea. Local optimization creates problems somewhere else, right? So this is what the principle says. Uh, we have talked about principle. Now, what is the intent of lean and agile? Okay, what is the goal of these two? They have come up. Any, any thought? So I see basically both of them are customer focused and hugely customer focused, right? Agile says build the right product for frequent short deliveries. Lean says focus on value adding activities and remove all the waste from the system, right? So both say the same thing. Focus is still with the customer, right? And if you see the speed of delivery also, they are talking the same thing. Continuous de delivery of working software is what Agile says and what Lean says is Rapid value creation, short cycle times. Have short cycle times is what it is. Try to shorten the cycle times, draw a complete value stream, and try to see where your wastes are and try to shorten it. Correct. If inventory is a waste, waste, remove it. Or at least reduce it, right? So again the same thing, right? Both share very clearly the same set of intents and the goal. But yes, as I said, there are differences. Apart from seeing the whole, which is the second part, there is one more difference with Lean says. Lean has with Agile, and I'm not sure how many of you will again agree to it, and I would love your opinion. What does Lean say about management? Or what does Agile say? Let me start with Agile first. What does Agile say about management? Self-organizing teams. We are all lost. I'm a project manager with Agile. What will my role be? We are insecure. There is a, because Agile doesn't really say what is the role of a project manager. Of course, you map into one of the roles. So it's more about self-organizing teams. Leaders, we have leaders in Agile, but they are facilitators. facilitators. They just serve people. They're not the managers. But Lean has a very clear focus on managers. Lean says management is the foundation because it's the management which can change the system. Right? Uh, you know about SAFE? SAFE? SAFE Agilist, anybody? SAFE framework, Scale Agile framework. So again, there it is based on lean, and it says it's the leaders which started all. Yes, sir. Yeah, maybe, uh, just to add, I have read this book called uh, the Machine That uh, Changed the World. Right? So in that, since it clearly pronounces this uh, lean concept, it clearly states that a person working in a lean environment should have cross-functional expertise. Right? So yes. they 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 focus more on changing roles of people at different points in time. They don't want people to be a subject matter expert. Okay? Exactly. exactly. So do, yeah. the core concept there is cross-functionality of the team. In software, it is not practical. It doesn't make sense to train the developer into testing. But as a team, we have cross-functionality. This is again one of the misunderstood things about Agile. They say everybody has to learn everything. The team has to be cross-functional. Just like a sports team, you say, or a cricket team, you cannot make every 11 players as ball and batsmen, then we get keepers. You have the cross-functionality. So again, the similarity here is the same. You learn. You know, uh, they change the roles in manufacturing. One person doing one piece of the activity, and they change it after some time so that they do they know the entire value stream. But let's let's come back to this. Okay, so seeing the system as a whole again, agile isolates the team. Lean says have a complete view, no isolation. Uh, are these really problem? These differences. There are differences, but they are not. Uh, you know. Uh, so much of a difference which can you know have an impact on the implementation but these are good good differences to have so that we can put some thoughts and how we can customize based on our context so here comes the topic of the talk the eternal siblings and why I called it very close to my heart I believe there are more similarities than differences that's what my opinion is at this point because these two are more close than apart from each other yes there are and I call them, because they're so similar in principles, I call them the siblings. Okay, and eternal siblings, they have been lying, they are all basic principles of humanity, and we can very well apply it at any walk of life, right? So practices, aren't they used interchangeably these days? I mean, value stream mapping and all, they are no longer copyright of lean, you know that? Even if you're not implementing lean, you can do value stream mapping. 
Pair programming, where it came from, it started probably with manufacturing when two people worked on the same stuff. There's so many things now they have, you know, being used interchangeably. Uh, Kanban, WIP limits, WIP limits, you limit the work in progress, right? Yesterday again, uh, I think visual tools and WIP limits were again a couple of tools that she spoke about. All these are used interchangeably in software. We don't even know, I mean, many people won't even know is it really a Kanban thing or a lean thing or a agile thing. They both talk about continuous improvement. What is Agile's punchline on continuous improvement? Inspect and adapt, right? And Lean says, Kaizen. Kaizen, have you heard? Change for good, better change, continuous improvement. Again, it's the same thing. But remember, and as there is a saying in Agile, Agile is no silver bullet, right? Agile people thought with Agile all our problems will be solved. It is not. It's not a panacea of all your problems. There has to be a right implementation of it. If you implement Agile right, and if you know Agile right, then only you will succeed. So similarly, Lean is no silver bullet. If you just implement Lean, I mean, I can't say, no, don't go for Agile, Agile, go for Lean and your implementation will be successful. You can't do that. Because you have to make, have to have a very clear problem statement in front of you. And then only you can, you. But yes, there is definitely a very good synergy between them. They are strong together. Mark spoke about that. There are what other scaling frameworks we have? Safe, less. Okay, all of these based on green principles. Trust me on this. Safe foundation. That there is for in that there is a separate framework for lean implementation. Less also based on the house of lean, right? So how I I mean I try to explain is if we have to think bigger and go bigger and scale further up, you have to depend on principles and this quote remains inside the room <laughs> because I'm still thinking about it. I call Lean the elder sibling at this point in time. I'm still doing my research. I don't know uh, where I'll reach. Probably somebody has already thought about it and written about it. But somewhere when they came, Lean came much ahead, the principles came much ahead. Uh, Agile principles or the manifesto of the philosophy came a little later. So for that reason precisely I call Lean the elder of the two siblings and they are very close together. Just like two siblings are same and different at the same time. This is where what the case of Lean and Agile is. And we can definitely come up with synergies. We can exploit both and come up with what works in your context. Uh, if, it, if it had been a one hour talk, we would have you know taken up every practice and tried to relate it to the Lean and Agile principles. And interestingly, I have done it. And almost all, all practices of software development in Lean and Agile they map to at least one of the principles of either lean or Zen. Okay, I'll take any question if you have. Please feel free to ask. I'll be on time. Just, okay. Any question you have? I'm getting better at time management, I guess. <laughs> Start one. Yes, any question or thoughts? Uh, I am on LinkedIn. Uh, you can very well, as she said, you can very well drop a question on Twitter as well. And thank you very much. Yeah.